Um, we went to the Dollar Tree in Springfield, Missouri. Today um, is Friday. If you watch my vlog channel, you might have known we were going to Springfield, Missouri. Um, because my family is not really crazy about crowds and stuff, we decided to celebrate Mother's Day a few days early. Um, I told mom we're going to have like a nice brunch on Mother's Day just to still have stay at home, have her her great Belgian waffles that she likes and all the different things. Um, but we wanted to take her out and treat her to something special. She wanted to go to Longhorn Steakhouse and the food was amazing as it always is. Thank you Longhorn staff in Springfield, Missouri. But while we were there, we went to the Dollar Tree. We had to get a couple of things. I needed some things for crafting and then I needed, um, she needed cards and uh, something for graduation. Just different things we went for. So we found a bunch of really cool things that I can't wait to share with you. Very, very excited. Um, so first and foremost, I needed green wreath forms. These are like a staple in crafting in your crafting stash, but I was out. Actually, the carrot wreath was supposed to be on one of these. I can't believe I didn't have any. Um, these are 10 inch, 9.8 inches. I call them 10 inch. These are 10 inch uh, styrofoam, hard styrofoam wreaths. I got four of them. They had a new, really cool looking find. I haven't seen anybody haul this. I don't even know if it's all over the place, but I don't even know if you guys can actually see it. So this is a, a round wire with hard wires going across and um there's three of these clips there's holes for you to hang it and you can clip on pictures or notes i realized that i could probably change the clips out to like clothes pins to make it a little bit more farmhouse maybe put a bow on the top i just thought it was really sweet and really cute and i bought two of them because i might have an idea to do with one of them that's not just putting pictures on it um, I thought these were adorable. I haven't seen these before. These are glass jars with little tiny baby ropes. I had seen the accompanying pieces. They had these in the same area that they had the, the sort of uh, bubbly apothecary bottles with the, like the seashells on top. So these were in the same area, very nautical, but also very farmhouse. And I picked up two because I thought they were so adorable. I just needed. So this was a rare find. I don't know, who, like it's from the Home Vernon collection, looks like. But I found this absolutely stinking gorgeous bowl. I said to my, I said to mom, I was like, um, I, I got a bowl. It's really super cute and totally useless because um, it's just decorative. <laughs> so it has an H on it for Hanson. They had another one that had an O on it. I thought maybe somebody was trying to spell home, but maybe not. It has a chip in it, but it is a glazed over chip. So it's a fake chip. Um, and it's got this beautiful black ring around it. It's very um, uh, enamel wear looking, but it is ceramic, the whole thing. And it's got double handles on it, almost like a small colander. It is so freaking cute. I can't take it. I can't. It's just so cute. I think I want to put it on my um, coffee shelves over there. But I just love it. I also might put it in the baker's rack out in the... I just don't know. It's so cute so cute by the way this is the um dollar tree on independence in springfield that's when we went to because we we're going to the target um also so they had this and i haven't seen this before those of you who don't know i eat very low carb i eat a lot of keto recipes i'm sorry i make a lot of noise i eat very low carb a lot of keto recipes and i love pork rinds they're a great snack these are sweet and mild barbecue I've seen sweet and spicy barbecue. I've seen barbecue, but I've never saw sweet and mild barbecue, and I can't wait to try them. But they look really good. These are since 1982. These are Brims. Brims is just a brand that Dollar Tree carries. I do like the barbecue that they have, so I can imagine. But I'm also a mild girl, so I think they might be pretty good. You get how many ounces? It's a shricket. Huh, I don't know. Oh, here. Nope, can't tell. I have no idea how many ounces of pork rinds are in here. Pork rinds don't weigh very much, so it's usually like like five ounces or whatever. Jim, is it okay if I share your stuff? What? 
Is it okay if I share your stuff? Your Dollar Tree stuff? Or do you want to? You sure? Okay. Well, I'll leave it for you then. So, I found these. I don't... I, things are all mismatched. Sorry, by the way. The lady was thought she had a system. She said, I have, a, I have a, med a method to my madness. I'm like, okay. Tell the people on the YouTubes that. They're charcoal wipes. Now, I know I keep these for my guests. I keep them for Jim. But I, now that I have charcoal wipes, I might try them. Because, you know, menopause. Oh, my. It's like going through puberty again. <laughs> I found the Scotch Bright Wavy Sponges. They're like my favorite ever. You get... I know a dollar each is not a great bargain, but they are really good sponges. They really do last me like a year. I You can disinfect them all different ways. They really don't fall apart with the bleach. So I do like a bleach and water soak on my sponges about once a week. I also throw them in the dishwasher periodically every couple of nights. What is this? Okay, that's fine. Um, so I got two of those. I got this really to show the crafters. They had these foam dice. They are really, really hard foam. They're like craft foam, but they're really, really dense. Not as dense as this styrofoam, but they're really dense. You can squeeze them, but they're really rigid. And they have square, nice square corners. You get four for a dollar, which I thought was pretty neat. Um, and I thought that some crafter somewhere will come up with something good for that. So keep your eyes open. It was in the toy section, okay? Do you want to do this on your own haul? Is what I was just asking. Like, do you want to take oh, this? Oh no, I, I don't care. So you got these work gloves? I got those for working with the mulch and the and the. the we have stuff the new we tree. have a new tree, and it says we do dirt and mulch uh, coming up and food and all the things. You okay? What you got on me? Like sticky stuff. Like the like, food? I, I I don't know. Oh. Could be. Okay. We just packed up some bourbon chicken that we got in Springfield. Um, but these are really nice. They have like the rubber, really good rubber textured grip. And then on the back, they're very flexible, very thin, which would be breathable. That's really nice. And he got them in gray. He also needed a pack of his favorite pens. You get eight ink clip clicks. This is the one that you push down and then you push the thing in to close it, right? Right, right. So you push down to let the ink out and then you squeeze the clip, clip to close it, which is clip click, duh, Jerry. He also got a Beady Baby stapler. Instead of be hauling one of the big ones out of my old desk. Yeah, so this is for your new office, right? Yeah. And it's in black and blue, because he's going to be black and blue because he bought another stapler. No, I'm kidding. These are new. Yeah. Why did we only get two? Because that's all I had. These are targeted warming capsaicin heat patches. <gasps> for our back. For your, your back. back. My back. Oh, there's two packages. There's two patches in each pack. Yeah, that's... It's got a little ziplock top. It says back and large areas, and it's got like a little reclosable top, and there's two patches in each one. Now we really do like the the who makes the other ones? The icy hot? No, the other ones. Oh, I don't know. I have to go. Men, the not men, and mental. I don't know, but we really do like those. But this is better bargain, and he bought a red composition notebook. Why? Gaming? Uh huh. Oh, for gaming. Here you go. Here's all your stuff. I know those are going in the bedroom, right? Those so going in the bedroom. Okay. This is going in these gloves going on top of the freezer for outdoors. Okay. Okay. I can't show you the two bottles of Propel watermelon that I bought because I knew that I was going to pick up electrolyte water while I was out because I just take electrolytes every day and... They had them there at the Dollar Tree, and I was like, thank you. And I drank one right when I was there because it was very warm in the Dollar Tree. And I was burning calories that I don't even had for the day. But I did find one, Life Water. This is a uh, with, it's pH balance. But it's just like I water, it's great squeezy bottle top, and it's just like good water. So I got that. And then a two, like I said, the two watermelon propels. And I have a little brunch. Come on, little gifts. These are her favorite. So we're going to put these in her little gift bag just to have. Got two packages. Jim found Lay's stacks in sour cream and onion. 
You got two containers. He really likes these. Do you like these better than Pringles or just the same to you? Actually, those I think are better than Pringles. You heard it here first. And then he found a four pack of his Wild Berry Splash. We pay $1.67 at Walmart for a six pack. So it's a little cheaper. This makes this 25 cents each. That would make it $1.50 if that was the equivalent of a six pack. So um, he picked up just one four pack because he does have some left over from Aldi. Yep. Do you think I can ask you for help? Things are getting a little far away. What? Can I ask you for help? Things are getting a little far away. I t picked up, you can't see them. I picked up two more ribbon, awareness ribbon wreath forms. One that I'm doing this month and I'm actually gonna probably do it tomorrow or next Friday um, that I'll definitely share on the channel. And then one is for my sister. I made one already for my sister, other sister, and I'm gonna give one to this sister. Two of my sisters both, both survived thyroid cancer and I made them I made one of them a ribbon wreath you guys seen on my channel and I'm going to make one for the other sister. I got this to throw in the It's a safeguard hand hand sanitizer. I'm sorry this stuff is all over like I mentioned. It was, she said she said there was a method to her madness. I found one of the scrubby scrubbers. Um this is by Scrub It. It's kind of like hard and when you wet it it softens up. I have never used one before, but both Sarah Jane from Chic on the Sheep, Cheap and Catherine from Doing on a Dime um, both highly recommended it, so I had to get it. Speaking of Catherine, Catherine mentioned the Super Oxygen Bathroom Cleaner. Sprays purple and then turns white when you get ready to wipe it off. She highly recommended this, so I found it today and I was like, I'll buy that, thank you very much. I'll give it a shot for a dollar. I'm, a, I'm usually a comic girl, but you know, I'm getting older. Maybe if this is easier. Um, Jim wanted a stick lighter. His is going out. He does, when he does his videos, he lights candles and incense and stuff. So he picked up another one of these. And I got another one of these. I know. Okay. This is the one from my office because you took it to work and now you don't work there anymore and that's one left over. I know. I'll put it in your office because I got a mini one in my space. That's fine. Okay. Never mind. That's the one from my office. <laughs> um... I got another chalk marker from the Crafters Square section. Um, I really like this and I use it, so I needed another one. So I was like, all right. Whenever we do labels on all the things, basically I do labels on all my things. Here are two more wreath forms. Like I said, I got four. Would you mind packing these wreath forms back into one of these bags, if you can? Come around this side, that side, whatever. It's fine with me. We got these gift bags to make a little gift bag. I was super excited to find the safe and healthy kills viruses in seconds, blue light, light killing, germ killing light for your phone and such. Um, I don't know how good it is, but we'll give it a shot. How am I gonna be able to tell? I don't know. I'm not gonna lick it and see if I get sick, trust me. I will. <laughs> He's so silly. These I found, I'm gonna put them in my, my Cricut box to possibly use to make somebody some cute little mugs, but they have the giant mugs again. Now I had these, one of them broke, so I gave the other one away, but these are huge. I don't even know if you can, like, you know my head's big, right? Cause I'm. Mm-hmm, yeah, I did a good job. <laughs> I got two of them. If you can put that one back in the wrappings and you can put them in the cricket drawer, that'd be all right with me. Yeah, okay, sure. What? You don't know where the cricket drawer is? I think the bottom drawer on the left of the cabinet with yeah, the cricket drawer. Yeah, sometimes they're a pain, but... Well, know. then just leave it on the on my desk and I'll take care of it tomorrow. Oh, I accidentally got two envelopes. Oops. Yes. Excuse me. So we got LED light bulbs. We got uh, four of them because we have to change the light bulbs in the carport. And these are 60 watt equivalents. They last, they have 800 lumens. They last 29.8 years. But I will tell you, I don't know if there's a short in there or they just aren't lasting 29 years. They lasted about 
four years in the carport. And then we're having to change them after four years, right? I, I felt it hit my leg. Sorry. Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if my friend watches my videos all the time or just my vlogs. But May, for those of you who don't know, is Cystic Fibrosis Awareness Month. So I've mentioned on this channel plenty of times that I love Mary and Peter Fry over at the Fry Life and Mary does suffer from cystic fibrosis and I consider her a dear sweet sister in Christ. And the DIY that I'm going to do is I'm going to make a purple awareness wreath. So what I did was I have purple mesh. I have an idea that's different than I've ever seen before. Hopefully it's new to me. I mean, it's new, I've never seen it before. Hopefully you guys haven't. So I picked up a variety of shades of purple as well as a variety of types of flowers. So let me show you what we got really quick. So I tried to pick up two of everything. These are the ranunculus. I love that, I love these flowers. I got two of those. And these ones are like variegated. Do you see that they're like a little darker in the middle? Now I know that cystic fibrosis uh, purple is like sort of the darker kind of purple, but I thought a variated shade would be really nice. Um, I think, I feel like they only had one of these. I'm just double checking. I'm pretty sure that's the answer. They only had one of these left in the store that in this shade of purple anyway. This is uh, oh, these are Delilah's. Does anybody hear the word Delilah and start singing? Okay. <laughs> nope, just me? Okay. They had purple roses, and I do have some purple roses that are a lighter shade of purple. Um, actually, are these roses? Yes. Okay. I was like, you never can tell with the Dollar Tree. They call something different. But I got two of these dark purple roses, and I got two of these... Um, Where's the other one in here? Okay, two of these purple, different shades of purple pansies. Um, I just thought they were so pansy? pretty. Who are you calling a pansy? Is that what you said? So who are you calling a pansy? Um, they only had one, uh, excuse me, they only had one purple lilac left, so I grabbed it. And they had two of the purple larkspur. Now larkspur is my birthday flower, so I thought that would be special to put in there. And look, I am so impressed. These are irises. Irises like always remind me of my mom. My irises that I grow, if I can remember to put a picture in here, because we took a picture of what they look like the other day. Um, I'm so excited. So they have this color shade of purple and then they have the one that's a little bit more blue um, of irises. And I think they're absolutely gorgeous. So I got all these to put together to make a cystic fibrosis awareness ribbon wreath her fight, my fight. Um, so if you guys have any questions about anything, please leave them in the comments down below. Don't forget to share with friends and family, anybody you know might be interested in seeing what I got at the Dollar Tree. And if you haven't yet, click subscribe, this button right here. When you do a little bell will pop up. When you ring that bell, YouTube will let you know whenever I upload a new video. And as always, oh, and in the description box is links to all my social media, except TikTok, it's not down there yet. And as always, you guys take care, God bless. And we'll see you next time, bye. Saying goodbye? Bye. No, tip down. There you go. Bye. Anything, please leave them in the comments down below. Don't forget to share this video with friends and family. Anybody you know might be interested in going, seeing what I got at the Dollar Tree this time and maybe getting some things. I heard, I heard that was good. You know, this is my favorite glass cleaner, but we picked up four last time, so I don't need it. We just said I used it to clean the table. What other song? Over there. Can I finish and say goodbye? Huh? <laughs> Can I finish and say goodbye? Yeah, I just asked you a question. <laughs> All right, as always, oh no, uh, if you guys have any questions, leave them in the description box down below. Now, if you guys have any questions, leave them in the comments down below. Don't forget to share with.